So I was going through some videos that I had on my phone and I completely forgot to do an update to this mini form gaming PC. So as you guys know, when I first made this video, I had put this gaming card in the computer. This is the AMD HD 8450. The Zotac GeForce GT 730. I tried this out and it actually didn't work out as I, well as I thought it would. It actually performed worse than the uh, HD 8450. So I ended up getting this instead. GeForce GT 1030. This actually worked pretty good. Cost a little bit more. It was a little under $100 for that. But with the GeForce GT 1030 in it, Once again, I apologize about the archaic uh, <laughs> video. Since it's not a GTX card, I cannot actually record video on this. But with the GT 1030 in it, it is a lot smoother of a game. I could put it at a higher resolution. Such a smoother gameplay with the GT 1030. You don't have all the stuttering and anything like you did with the HD 8450. Now, Jurassic World actually uses a lot more graphic power than some of the other games. But this game actually plays pretty good. But let's go ahead and check out a different game. So this is Fallout 4. And as you can see, it's kind of hard to do this since I'm doing it with one hand. It works really good. Fallout 4 performs very, very good on this setup. not really any issues playing first person shooter games with this setup and this setup is extremely cheap I mean this is like a maybe a 280 I think it was 280 to 300 dollars setup for uh, PC gaming so for it to be playing this well on the price tag that I actually put into May building this computer. This is really actually not that bad. I really like it. And this right here is Skyrim playing on this PC at a really decent frame rate. It's holding a steady 60 frames per second playing Skyrim easily. So this computer setup, if you want to just get into PC gaming and you want to see what it's all about, this PC setup is definitely an ideal way to get into PC gaming if you don't want to be spending a lot of money just to see what the hype is all about. And this, once again, was a HP Pavilion Slimline. I upgraded with an AMD Phenom X42. Put the one terabyte hard drive in it. A GT1030 with an upgraded power supply. And the eight gigabytes of gaming memory back there. Roughly around $300 for this setup. Not a bad price tag to just start getting into PC gaming. If you have any questions about building something like this or getting into really cheap PC gaming, go ahead and put a comment down below. I'll help out the best that I can. I've built every single computer that I have. I might do something with these two. These are Dell Optiplexes. I want to change the motherboards in them because these are DDR2 Optiplexes and I'm going to want to put DDR3 Optiplexes in them. So there's more projects that I'm working on, trying to actually make some gaming computers. 
something to tinker around with. But yeah, any questions about just getting started into PC gaming or building a budget PC, go ahead and put a comment down below and I will help you out the best that I can. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.